Hidden Object Guru here with hot upcoming game, The Binding of You. Um, is it a twin stick shooter like Binding of Isaac? Let's find out. I, I was about to say, what happened to my full controller support? Well, moron, you were just using your PS4 controller when you were pl from when you were playing uh, Surge 2 one minute ago. Get your PC controller, maybe it will work. Ah, yes. Using the thumbstick as a mouse. I would like to start a new game. Uh, full screen windowed. I think it's the full screen music volume. Let's turn you down a little. Well, that didn't work. Uh, master volume, 50 or 100. Again, you could just say on or off. At the binding of you! Let's try it. You. Select character. Alright, so we've got a cube. We've got a different cube. A third cube. More cubes. Darkness cube. Poly cube. Hootie. Ribbon snowflake. Well, obviously we're playing as wide, wise old owl Hootie. Alright, so move, shoot. I'm not able to shoot. This could be a problem. Oh, maybe I just can't shoot in the training screen because it's not working on the keyboard either. Alright, what have I got? Common drop. Quad shot. I don't know what that means, but I'm very excited to find out. Shooting is still not working. Ah, there we go. It's, um... Wow. You have to use the, um, face buttons to shoot. It is definitely louder and more extravagant than uh, Isaac, so it's got that going for it. Level 2. My real FPS is 666. No! Slimes! They're famously the worst. Come on! Dear developer, in case you see this, I hate screen shake. I'm not going to judge this game until I go back to the options and check later and check to see if there was an option to turn off screen shake, but I just hate screen shake so much. Wait, these guys don't count as combos because they're split off dudes? Hmm. Congratulations, Maddie. I hope you enjoy Snackery. Yay, I got a heart! Double shot. Oh! So whatever you grab, you just switch over to that weapon. Interesting. Laser? Is it a laser? Oh. So here's a question. When I find a weapon I like, do I just stop opening chests? That's weird, right? Yay! So when I level up, what does that mean in practice? No! I got killed instantly. Like, shockingly instantly. It's like I touched a guy and he did four points of damage in one second. Uh, okay, master volume, music volume, controller, controls, nice. Uh, shoot up, left, right, up, and chest, shoot down, move, pause. Okay, so there is no extra level there I wasn't sure of. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's a ripoff of Binding of Isaac, because, you know, uh, it's there are other... What the hell just happened? I selected my character, and then the game ended immediately. That was... I forgot to get a gun, everyone. Apparently that's a thing that can happen. So let's try that again. Yeah, when you select a character, it goes straight to game over. Maybe it's because I didn't submit my high score. Okay. Alright, so yeah, be sure to get that weapon when you start the game, or else you... Ooh, rifle. Tell me more. We're never opening another chest, are we? Am I doing more damage now that I get... I just realized we're continuing 
I'm already at level five. You know, I'm sticking with the rifle. I'm happy with the rifle. Thought I had only turned the music down to halfway, but I accidentally turned it off, and now I can't turn it back on again. Dear developer, I can't stress the importance of including a A, giving me an option to turn off screen shake. I know not everybody hates screen shake. Plenty of people like screen shake. I'm not one of them. Uh, but the point I'm getting at is, careful, careful. We got you. Yes. Uh, you got to put in that little glimpse of invulnerability between getting hit and being able to be hit again. Or else, you know, 198 deaths. Oh. All right, back to it with my riflery and murderlation. I really do need that extra hit point. Wait, why would I pick up... Oh, God, I got rid of my rifle. I forgot not to open chests. Well, that was bad. Kind of nixoned myself pretty hard there. Whoa, those eyeballs look deadly. Even for eyeballs. I just don't understand what level has to do with anything. Am I getting more damage? Is that what the health is? What's the... Oh, wait, are those purple hearts Isaac hearts, like the iron hearts in Isaac, where you get the bonus heart, or the shadow hearts? Where you get the bonus heart, and it's a one-use heart, where it doesn't refill? Whoa. Ah, uh, those guys have homing lasers, everybody. Uh, how am I supposed to get rid of these? Am I the only one who thinks that these homing lasers last way too long? I am? Okay, well, then I'm just a whiner. What are you going to do? No bonus? Oh, because I got hit 800 times. Strong point. Oh, thank God. I just hit a zoom pad, which is, you know what? Stick into, oh wait, this is a higher ranking one. Maybe we get a better gun. Or gun. Well, that's awesome. That's right, 5x. That might be the highest x. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is the highest x because it keeps resetting when I hit 5. No, apparently you have to hit kill everyone before you can leave, although in my defense, the game did not say that in any way, shape, or form. So yeah, it's binding of Isaac-ish. Four-directional firing, the weepy-looking characters, but it's got the constant having to get new weapons is a little, little weird. No, I'm not opening that. Whoa! This could be a boss. It's a beholder, everybody. Ow. Never trust beholders. They are the worst. I know I shouldn't say this because it's a racially insensitive thing to say, but they never pay their bar tab. Ever. It's ridiculous. Hey, I've got extra shots. Nice. And, well, we beat the first level. That's something. Weapons reset. No, weapons reset, but my weapons. Uh, favorite game of the Commodore 64, Impossible Mission. Or Beachhead 2, but probably Impossible Mission. Uh, speaking of, I just got the remake of Impossible Mission for the Switch. We're going to be playing that maybe tomorrow. All right, Dr. Dungeon, what do you got for me? Apparently purple means legendary loot. Oh, that's a speed pad. Don't touch that. It would leave me unable to control my progress. The guy who made Kill the Super Weapon has a new game at. We might be playing that soon. I will give you a heads up. I mean, this is certainly way more playable than um, Achievement Hunt. Quest for Achievements? What was that game called? Uh, we had a good time with it, but... Uh, there was an iffiness that is not present in this, a far more confident and playable game. 
also the developer understands now. Pull that camera back a little. Let us see what's going on. Yay, more health. I feel like the um, combo could be a little smaller because it really is taking up a bunch of the top of the screen. Was that the uh, actual same sprite or is it just a popular behold? Uh, it's just the many games feature popular monster, the beholder. Right, let's see what the blue chests do. It is rare. Oh, what? Nuts to this. Stop shaking screen. Well, this sucks. I did kill him, though. Hey, I'm level 11. Again, what does that mean? But yeah, much more playable than the last one. Very smooth controls. You can see where the enemies are coming from. You can easily navigate around things like... It's going okay. I don't like the uh, thing where you can get killed instantaneously if you accidentally move into an enemy. Because, you know, there's no invulnerability after getting hit. But other than that, hey, anime girl. I'm definitely okay with this. Rockets, you said. Tell me more. Very short range, aren't they? And sometimes they don't explode. So when they hit flying eyeballs and cancel out shots, they don't explode. Interesting and logical, too. So I wonder if the Surge 2 has multiple endings, because I just got an ending uh, where the... Uh, where the girl, that tur it turns out, was made out of uh, nanites the whole time. Who knew? I mean, it was obvious, but who knew? Uh, okay... The one thing that's not clear in the game is whether your character is also made out of nanites or whether you're just someone that has been brainwashed by the little girl who she needed to defend. I think it's the second? But that opening at the end, that ending line did leave room for some doubt. Whoa. No! They got us. Yeah, Rainbow Islands had a famously uh, good soundtrack. That I remembered. Yes, we submitted Huguru. All right, total enemies killed, 103. Chests open, 16. Total deaths, 5. Again, although in my defense, like, two of those were the game stopping after I uh, tried to start a new game. View the online. No, I'm good. All right, so let's play and see if I die instantly. Nope, that time it didn't. Yes, yeah, so you have to submit your score or you will die instantly. Oh, you'll never guess my secret identity. Again, what is the, like, what is the level for? Because I'm keeping all of my levels when I pass to the next area. I understand the coins are score. I get that. And killing people gets you experience points, but what do experience points get you? Get you? Hey, I just beat that level quickly and without getting hit once. Why did I still not get a bonus? What is the word bonus even for? I haven't... Wait, which one is Pang? Is Pang the one where you play as like a kangaroo who kicks uh, crates around or something? Is that Pang? What? No! Damn turrets. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on with the theme of this game's enemies. Like, there's some slimes and there's a turret, but it's like, by and large, the game's enemies all seem to be eyeball-themed. And like, is there some deeper meaning to that? And then the boss was a... Nice. Was a beholder, which is an eyeball enemy. These are all tiny, completely black eyeballs, and then a glowing eyeball that spawns other eyeballs. Like, what is going on in the world of this game, is what I'm asking. Yes, but you still haven't told me whether Pang is the game I'm thinking of. Damn it, they hit me. 
Legendary chest! What? Things just got weird. Oh, it seems to be doing less damage than the uh, machine gun. I found a little bit of fun. I kinda wish I could switch back up and bonus one. Although that wasn't really badass. I mean, the thing is, here's the problem with bouncing. Bouncing only works as an advantageous tool in a game, right? Come on. If, and I can't stress this enough, if you can shoot it diagonally. All it can do here is just bounce straight up and back, which is not, you know, helpful. At all. I'm going to assume that uh, damages people who walk through it. Eh, I didn't like rockets that much. It's weird how Europeans... What the hell? Yes, please. Very shmup weapon. Uh, how European people will you say passing a video game instead of beating a video game. Which I think is the more common North American. Not really. So weird. No! Foiled. Uh. Oh, that's what Pang is. The one where there are bubbles and you have to shoot the bubbles to make them smaller bubbles. Then no, I don't know that I have played that. All right, so uh, this has been the binding of you. Uh, which you know what? Like I said, for an Isaac alike, isn't terrible. Um, I was having real trouble with that beholder boss, as you see. He fired way too much and had no weaknesses, so that wasn't great. Uh, the bounce shot doesn't really work because bounce shots are only good if you can fire in directions other than the four. Uh, directions because what possible use can it be to have something bounce off the back wall and come straight back towards you like if it didn't hit the enemy going forward why would it hit the enemy coming back but bouncing stuff off walls can help you shoot around corners or if you miss a guy it'll hit the wall and come back at a weird a weird angle like but if i miss a guy shooting straight and hit a wall and it bounces back i'm still going to be missing him so that's an issue but anyway, uh, yeah, it's definitely playable. It's a big mm, improvement over the gameplay of the achievement hunt we uh, did last time. So I'm interested to see if this thing gets, uh, what do you call it, um, gets tuned up just a bit uh, for the, when it comes out. You know, those instant deaths weren't great if I forgot to submit my score or chose not to submit my score. That wasn't fantastic. Uh, and I think the biggest thing is, what's going on with the eyeballs? Like, give me a little bit of story so I can find out what's going on with the eyeballs. What are packs? Achievement packs. Coin to spend 100. Oh, I can get achievement packs. Okay, well, what did that do? Okay. Nice. I don't understand what is the extras new options well by opening that chest did i unlock more characters oh wow i was just bitching about the lack of a plot and here we go and filled with all the happiness in the world they decided to share their happiness with your soul gotcha we'll do horror king Oh, no. Oh, God. So it's a game about depression. Yes, Hans. Um, the Being able to angle shots by moving is pretty badass in Isaac. Aww. So this whole game is about a, a metaphor about fighting your internal demons to overcome depression. Well, there you go. And it's okay, it doesn't matter if you do the score submission or not. <laughs> it just crashes no matter what. That's weird. Oh, I think the plot didn't show up because I played with, because um, I started with the controller instead of clicking on it. That time I just happened to click on it. 
Anyway, uh, so this has been The Binding of You. Yeah, it's a adaptation of inspired by Binding of Isaac. Uh, without, you know, that game's uh, style and depression. And the elaborate system of uh, randomly generated rooms. And, of course, uh, constant new weapons. And mods to change how the game is played. But this does have a good array of weapons, I'll say that. I just wish it was clear what the experience bar was for. Or how to do more damage, other than just by, you know, getting a different weapon. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and or upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say au revoir.